What is the difference between AP and IB courses? This video was heavily requested by the community. So in today's video, we're going to be covering the similarities, differences in my personal view on both programs. Perfect. To start off, AP courses are way more popular than IB courses. After some slight digging, nearly 3 million students took an AP exam in 2024, while only 200,000 students took an IB exam. AP courses are clearly more popular than IB courses, since in the US, over 22,000 schools offer AP courses, while only less than 1,000 offer IB ones. However, this makes sense considering that IB courses are more global, especially in countries like the UK or any countries in Europe. Additionally, AP courses are offered in 116 countries outside of the US, while IB courses are offered in 166 countries worldwide. But what's the difference in the courses that go beyond the numbers? Well, AP and IB courses have their differences. First, IB exams are taken in your junior and senior year, and these exams place an emphasis on writing skills. However, AP exams can be taken any year of high school and are mostly MCQ with some writing, like DBQs for AP World or some essays for AP Lang. Additionally, you have to be enrolled in an IB course at a school if you want to take the exam. In the US, you can self-study for AP exams and still take the exam even though you may have never enrolled in the course at a school. For example, you don't have to attend a class for AP Chem in order to take the exam. This is a popular thing for students that may attend a school where an AP course that they desire isn't offered. Moreover, IB courses are said to last longer than AP courses and dive deeper into certain materials, while AP courses are similar to regular courses but require more work. IB courses require research, collaboration, and other factors. The scoring on these exams are also very different. The AP exam score ranges from 1 to 5, while IB ranges from 1 to 7. A 3 on the AP exam is the same as a 4 on an IB exam, so they're pretty similar. There are also 39 AP courses offered, compared to 59 IB courses. That's 20 more IB courses, which I think is pretty cool. Now, I won't go too much into detail on the IB program itself. However, if you're interested, you can find many videos online detailing the IB program, the requirements, the different systems, and so forth. For colleges, IB and AP are pretty much the same in terms of how they are viewed. There are some exceptions like the University of Michigan, but most of the time these courses are weighed similarly. There are also standard level and higher level IB courses. The names are pretty self-explanatory, and some say that higher level IB courses are harder than some AP courses, and some standard level IB courses are easier than some AP courses. Personally, both seem pretty interesting and are a good choice. If you can take both, cool, go ahead and take both. However, IB isn't offered at my school and I've never really been exposed to it. I do think that the testing system and the exams for the IB courses are better than AP courses, specifically because some students may not be good test takers and there's a big emphasis on multiple choice questions for AP exams. However, an emphasis on writing requires you to actually know the material and overall it's a more effective way to test students on their knowledge. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section down below and as always, I'll see you all in the next video.